What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again, bringing you another performance benchmark. This time it's going to be between the RX 488 GB and the GTX 1066 GB. And the game this time is going to be a game I've been waiting for for a while, Dishonored 2. Stick around to find out more. Alrighty, so the test bench as always will be mentioned now and if you guys haven't had these memorized yet, watch more performance benchmarks from me. But anyways, it's going to be the i7-3770K overclocked to 4.4 GHz mated to an ASUS P8Z77 motherboard with 16GB of DDDR3 1600 MHz. The hard drive is going to be the PNY 500GB solid state drive and it is all powered by a Corsair AX860i. The case, which I haven't mentioned before in case you guys are curious, is going to be the Cooler Master XB Evo, which is very nice as it doubles as not only a test bench, but as well as a nice little portable LAN rig. The benchmark is going to actually be pretty easy to get to. You'll just load the game and then load the tutorial. After a quick little intro from the tutorial, you will go ahead and begin the benchmark and you will continue the tutorial for the next 60 seconds. This actually works out pretty well because the tutorial has you do things like duck, vault, and slide along with some swimming and some other climbing. It does seem to also have enough light going on and enough dynamic settings that you're able to get a good idea of what the performance in the actual game is going to be like. Speaking of performance for the game, there have been plenty of issues in Dishonored 2 on the PC side for multiple different users and the minimum recommended, I shouldn't say minimum, the recommended recommended is a GTX 1066 gigabyte, which is quite high. Even on the Titan XP that I currently have in my main rig, I'm having issues staying above a constant 60 FPS. There seems to be something that just doesn't allow the game to run above 60 FPS all of the time and knocks you down into the 50s. Keep that in mind when we start to talk about the benchmarks here. The settings are going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to have 1080p, 1440p, as well as 4K because because you guys know I love my 4K. Whether or not they can play at 4K, we'll find out. If you bump over into advanced video settings, we're just going to select the ultra preset. This pretty much sets everything at its highest available, which is kind of abnormal for most games coming out lately. Usually, even when you set to a preset of ultra, the game knocks down things like AA, but that's not the case in Dishonored 2, so keep that in mind. A couple other notes is that there are settings that we need to mention. There's field of view, which I left at standard, which is 80. And then there's another one that has some sort of dynamic resolution scaling. And I left it at the standard 75. I'm going to dive more into that later on, probably with the Titan as I go ahead and research and try to figure out how to get above 60 FPS all of the time. All right. So without further ado, let's hop into the benchmarks at 1080p. The RX 480 had a minimum frame rate of 50 with an average of 74 and a max of 102. The GTX 1060 comes in with a minimum of 57, an average of 73, and a max of 117. Now while normally I would say that the difference between the min and max is more important and the RX 480 seems to be more consistent, however that number as it gets closer and closer to 60 on the min definitely helps the game feel like it runs better and I would have to give the win here to the GTX 1060. Moving up to 1440p the RX 480 had a minimum frame rate of 36 with an average of 49 and a max of 72. On the GTX 1060 side we had a minimum of 41 with an average of 54.7 and a max of 80. We can definitely see a trend here and I think you guys already kind of can tell where this is headed. If we bump up to 4k we do get closer results from both cards with the RX 480 having a minimum of 24 FPS with an average of 31.6 and a max of 41. The GTX 1060 barely performs better with a minimum of 26, an average of 32, and a max of 43. Now of course on both of these cards and in for this game in particular I think that 1440p is probably going to be out of the question. I don't even think that you are going to be able to 
to bump down to low and get a decent experience out of it, especially with some of the optimization issues that are going on. That being said, since we're going to be looking mainly at the 1080p performance for the RX 480 and the GTX 1060, it is apparent to me and the experience I had with both of the cards that the GTX 1060 provides a better experience for Dishonored 2, and that's just the way it is. That's going to be the conclusion. If you want to play Dishonored 2 and you got it and you currently have the decision between the RX 480 and the GTX 1060, then pick up the GTX 1060 at your nearest provider. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more competitions between Nvidia and AMD. And I will see you next Tuesday.